What is up everyone? This is Georgia the Techie back again and today we're going to take a look at the Pixel 7 Pro after one week of use. Quick disclaimer here, this phone was sent to me for free by Google as part of hashtag Team Pixel, hashtag gift from Google. However, this video will include, as always, my honest opinion. So it's officially Pixel season over here and I am celebrating with a spanking new Pixel 7 Pro in the color Hazel, which is, as you can see here, gorgeous. I love the gold trim and camera bar and how it looks against this grayish green glass back. I mean, just look at this beauty. This particular device is the 128 gig version with a SIM card tray. Gotta mention that because apparently that's something that other phone manufacturers are getting rid of. And a three camera array in this camera bar that has gone from being all glass in the previous iteration to now being polished aluminum, which wraps around the entire device, giving it a seamless look. Now, there's a lot of things to like about this phone, but having used it for a week, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot off the things that were more noticeable to me, at least. First of all, and I never get tired of saying this, that vibration motor, oh my God, it's so good. The haptics on the Pro model, since I can't speak for the regular 7, because I don't have one, are better than any other phone that I've ever used. I've also heard the same from Apple and Samsung users that have tried this phone, so it's not just my biased opinion. Secondly, the screen. Coming from the regular Pixel 6, it is a night and day difference. This is a 6.7 inch Quad HD display that gets nice and bright with up to 1000 nits in HDR and up to 1500 nits at peak brightness. And speaking of HDR, this phone is capable of shooting video at 10-bit HDR at 30 FPS. But if you don't need HDR, you can also shoot now at 4K 60 frames per second from either of the phone's three cameras. That's something we could not do before. The phone also supports smooth display at up to 120 Hertz, if that's something that you really feel strongly about. And not a deal breaker for me, or for most people really, unless you're really used to looking at higher refresh screens. The display on the Pro last year got some complaints due to the steep curve on the size of the phones. I'm happy to report that on the Pixel 7 Pro, the curve is not as pronounced as before, which makes it easier to swipe from the edges. Another change is the location of the side buttons, which is now lower, and thank God, because that's the only way I would be able to handle a Pro size phone with these, these tiny hands. Now, we gotta talk about that camera zoom. So the three camera array in the back of the phone includes a 50 megapixel wide shooter, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel telephoto with a 5X optical zoom and super res zoom at up to 30X, which is quite impressive. It can also do macro photography, which it detects automatically when you're trying to take a picture of something up close. Google also introduced cinematic mode, which we did not have before. It is still in its infancy and it still has more to go to look like a DSLR, but now we can join Apple users in saying that we have it too. But there's one more thing the Pixel 7 series has this year that it hasn't had for a while, and that is face unlock. This face unlock uses the front facing camera. It's fast and convenient, and you can set it up so that it completely skips the lock screen and takes you right into your phone. However, because it is just using the front facing camera and not using specialized hardware to eliminate your face and detect depth, it is considered a class one biometric. This means that it will unlock your phone, but it won't be enough for things like making contactless payments or filling in passwords. The fingerprint sensor is also much better this time around. It's still not ultrasonic, but trust me, it works faster. Now, I'm not sure if this is because the phone is still very new, but I've heard the same from other people. So it may be that Google was able to figure out the correct software sauce to make it snappy. And finally, we got to address battery life. It is honestly very impressive how much the battery on this phone lasts. Google spec says that it should last you about 24 hours. And honestly, I can attest to that being the case for me when I'm not streaming video, music, and refreshing Twitter like a maniac. Typically though, if I'm doing all these things, I expect to get about a full workday and then having to put it back in the charger in the evening. So that's it for my one week impressions of the Pixel 7 Pro. Now you should like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I post my one week later review of the Pixel Watch. 
which is coming next. So don't miss it. See you in the next one.